A common use of Intella is to identify intellectual property theft. This video shows an example of how this can be easily done in Intella by using some basic searches and filters. Note that the people and company names in this video have been made up for demonstration purposes. The scenario and parameters for this demonstration are as follows. The management for Company A Pharmaceuticals suspects that a senior employee named Bob has sent confidential information out of the company to his home account. Bob is leaving the company to join a competitor named Company B Pharmaceuticals. In many cases, the reason why people take intellectual property is because they want to use that information at the new company that they are moving to. A forensic image of the employee's home computer, which was obtained via a search warrant, has been provided for examination. What we know about the company is that it produces pharmaceuticals and is working on a secret formula. It is information regarding this new formula that the company suspects has been taken. Assume that the data set has been indexed and is ready for searching. Firstly, we run a keyword search for the name of the formula, as we suspect that it is information regarding this formula that was taken. The search returned two items which are MS Word documents. When reviewing these documents, we can see that one document is related to board meeting minutes for Company A Pharmaceuticals. The formula is mentioned in this document along with other confidential information regarding the purchase and acquisition of another pharmaceutical company. The other document is the chemical breakdown for the secret formula. This is confidential information and is marked for internal use only. To investigate further, we select the two items then right click and select show top level parents. Here we can see that the items are attached to an email. The email is between our suspect Bob and Sam, who is a high-level employee of Company B Pharmaceuticals. The communication shows that Bob stole the documents from his company and forwarded them on to Sam at Company B Pharmaceuticals. We can also see that Bob has accepted an offer and will be working for Sam's company in a month or so. In this example, we were able to locate confidential company documents which Bob should not have access to on his home computer system. We were able to see the communication where Bob is accepting a position with a competing company, then admits to taking the confidential documents from his current employer. Finally, we have evidence that Bob has passed this confidential information onto the competitor. This is an example of how Intella can be used to quickly identify intellectual property theft. Note that intellectual property theft cases are different and may require different searching techniques depending on what information and evidence is available. As mentioned earlier, the people and company names in this video have been made up for demonstration purposes.